What's going on, Mobile Gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Nintendo Wii on your Android phone, not in 2023, but in 2024. Let's jump in and learn some more! Alright, Mobile Gamers, so this awesome device that I'm going to show you after I show you the initial setup of Dolphin for your Android device, your phone, your android mobile handheld anything that's powerful enough to play wii with a controller that is is so amazing that i thought i'd do a little setup guide generic to android devices because this thing just works right out of the box now you do need the dolphin emulator the version that i'm using as of right now still is 20822 5.0 which is just the dolphin uh, emulator that you can find on the Dolphin website. So if you go to Dolphin emulator for Android, and then you go to dolphin.emu.org and scroll down, you could download the 3.47 or the 5.0.20347. Uh, That's just the latest stable build. Or you can download the ones that are just like a day old and run those as well. Now, any of these versions should work as they haven't removed this feature out of the device. So as soon as you go into Dolphin, this isn't a way to get games again. This is just a way to show you how to actually play them after you've bought this device that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Some of you already probably know what it is. It's called the Dolphin Bar. We're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to Wii Input. And then we're going to change our Wii Input remote to the real Wii remote using the Dolphin Bar. Now, I put a link in the description below. It's going to be an affiliate link for Canada. And then it's just going to be a link for anybody else to buy one. If there is any available still, there was a few available when I bought this. And they should be available still through like AliExpress and everything. But that's up to you where you buy it. If you want to help the channel and you're in Canada, then just buy it below. Now... Big thing, yes, you do need to set Wii Remote 1 to the Dolphin Bar. Press the back button, press the back button again. The next thing we have to do, this is the Dolphin Bar. It's a USB dongle adapter, just basic USB. It's got a power switch on the back. It has a top and bottom, so you can uh, basically point the IR blaster to the bottom of the device or just to the top and i just like to sit it like this anywhere located nicely you can just set it on your desk set it wherever you want you need to make sure you turn it on so turn this toggle switch to on now it's not going to turn on unless it has some power this little dongle right here i also put it in the link in the description below it's just a USB C to ethernet to hdmi so yes you could technically if your phone or device supports it Stream this to your TV or connect it to your TV so that you can play on the big screen rather than playing on a little phone like I am. And then add other USB ports or any other devices that you want to. I also have this little adapter right here, which is pretty cool. It's a little angle C adapter that makes it so that you can just plug in from the side just like this. And then plug this in from right here. And now, once you have all that plugged in, this adapter or dongle can actually be charged with the USB-C charging dongle so you can keep your phone charged up as well unless your device has charging separation which I highly recommend you using. So you can plug that in to a charger and then we're going to plug in our USB port into USB 3.0 and you'll see it turn on. Now for the syncing process the back of your Wii remote has this little red dot. If you don't remember that, that's where it is. You need to press the sync button on here, press the sync button on the Wii remote, and then as soon as it's synced up, you'll see the little one icon. This might still flash. If it still flashes, make sure you're on mode four. Turn it off. Wait till your Wii remote turns off. Turn it back on. And your Wii remote should turn back on if it's charged up. If it doesn't, press the A button. Now, I went into a game. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. Because 
when you go into a game, sometimes this doesn't act up, act properly. So you have to just basically close out of the whole dolphin. This might work from the beginning, but let's press the back button. We're going to go over to the left-hand side and look for where it says refresh Wii remotes. Click on that once. This will pop up with a little dialogue. If that dialogue doesn't pop up, then just close out Dolphin. Make sure you use the square button, swipe it out. Make sure it's not sitting in your recent apps. Now, if you do get this little notification, press OK. Now you need to click refresh again. Your Wii remote will start vibrating. Yes, it'll vibrate. That means that we have connected it properly and we can just use it the way that you want to use your Wii remote. So this will be able to be used with any games that require a Wii remote basically. It also works with the classic controller. So I had a classic controller here. It does work with the classic controller. So please connect the controller. That's fine. And you can use the tilt option. So if you wanted to use the tilt option for driving, if you want to get yourself a steering wheel and you don't have a Wii anymore and you want to go out and buy a generic real Wii remote, yes, you need a real Wii remote. Some of the old or the, the fake styles do work, I guess, but I don't recommend it. You can get these usually for like $10, $15 at a pawn shop. And as long as they work, then you're golden. And if you want to take it apart to clean it up, then you're even more golden with some diamonds on top. So I'm just going to show you how cool it is to be able to play this with your Wii remote. Yes, you can use the tilt option. Everything works the way it's supposed to. It is literally the coolest thing that you could own in 2024 to just give you the gaming experience that you've always wanted and more. That's it, guys. Hope that was helpful. Hope that was a good little tutorial to start off the year because this is my very first tutorial for 2024. And I thought I'd get this out of the way because this dolphin bar is cool. And I'm going to station it now down in my living room so that whenever my kids want to play some Wii, they can just play it on my Android instead of the actual Wii. Bye-bye!